Six Ways to Eat Carbs Without the Blood Sugar Spike Can't you sleep at night because of your pillow? Here is adjustable sandwich pillow to support your neck, back, and spine. Enjoy a perfect sleep. You can have it too. Number 6. Don't skip breakfast. It's not just dinner that should be on your radar. Every meal and snack can influence your blood sugar levels, and what you have for your first meal, or whether you have one at all, can significantly impact your blood sugar throughout the day. Skipping breakfast can mess with your blood sugar later on, as some studies indicate that those who skip morning meals tend to experience higher post-meal blood sugar levels after lunch and dinner as well. It's crucial to make your breakfast well-rounded, including at least 20 grams of protein, complex carbohydrates, and heart-healthy fats. Number 5. Go for a walk after you eat. In addition to steering clear of the couch, there's a practical step you can take to assist your blood sugar levels post-meal. Strap on those sneakers and take a stroll to further balance your blood sugar. As an added bonus, you'll even burn off a few calories. Post-meal walks are effective in curbing the spike in blood sugar as your muscles utilize glucose for energy. A brief 10 to 20 minute walk should suffice, and if you can manage to do it outdoors, you'll enjoy the benefits of fresh air and exposure to nature, which could enhance your mood and aid in stress relief. Number 4. Eat the majority of your calories early in the day. While dinner is often considered the main meal, it's time to reconsider that notion if you're dealing with high blood sugar. Also, don't hold off on consuming calories just to have a big dinner later on. Opting for a larger portion of your daily calories in the earlier part of the day can enhance blood sugar levels. Our bodies operate on a circadian rhythm, processing food more efficiently during daylight hours. Studies indicate that individuals who consume a heartier breakfast and lunch followed by a lighter dinner experience improve blood sugar compared to those with the same caloric intake but spread out later in the evening. Moreover, packing in all your meals, especially dinner, close to bedtime, can leave your stomach feeling overly full, potentially leading to gastrointestinal discomfort that hinders comfortable sleep. Can't you sleep at night because of your pillow? Here is adjustable sandwich pillow to support your neck, back, and spine. Enjoy a perfect sleep. You can have it too. Number 3. Make sure to eat fiber at meals and snacks. When you consume refined white flour, like pizza crusts, pasta, or crackers, your body is getting only carbs and sugars, leading to more pronounced spikes in blood sugar. This is because there's no fiber to maintain stability or slow down digestion. Shift your focus to foods rich in fiber not just to control the post-meal increase in blood sugar, but also to support gut health. Opting for fiber-rich and blood sugar-friendly foods can foster the growth of beneficial bacteria in your gut, contributing to a better balance of blood sugar and maintaining regular digestion. High fiber options encompass fruits with skin, vegetables, beans, legumes, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and fortified cereals. Number 2. Make smart food pairings. The makeup of your meals plays a crucial role in managing blood sugar spikes. The key is to ensure that your meals and snacks have the right balance of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. If you consume large portions of carbohydrate-rich foods during meals or snacks, it leads to an excessive release of sugar into the bloodstream. Since proteins and fats take longer to digest than carbs, combining carbohydrates with proteins and or fats can maintain stable blood sugar levels. This combination slows down digestion and absorption in the intestines, subsequently reducing the rate at which sugar enters the bloodstream. Number 1. Prevent Low Blood Sugar a commonly overlooked strategy for preventing blood sugar spikes after meals involves avoiding hypoglycemic episodes. Hypoglycemia, characterized by low blood sugar, occurs when there's an insufficient amount of sugar in your bloodstream. 
For most individuals, hypoglycemia is defined as a blood sugar level below 70 mg per deciliter mg /DL. Common triggers for low blood sugar include excessive insulin intake, skipping meals, insufficient food intake, or engaging in more exercise than usual. An additional consequence of hypoglycemia is its acceleration of stomach emptying. Consequently, when you consume food, it undergoes faster digestion, resulting in a spike in blood sugar. Preventing hypoglycemia stands out as the most effective approach to steering clear of this type of blood sugar spike. What causes blood sugar spikes? To begin, let me clarify what a blood sugar spike is and how it unfolds. A blood sugar spike occurs when your blood glucose level increases shortly after eating, a normal response in all individuals consuming carbohydrate-rich foods. Following this, two crucial reactions unfold in the pancreas, an immediate release of insulin and the release of a hormone called amylin. Insulin swiftly acts to move glucose from the bloodstream into cells, a process taking mere minutes. Meanwhile, amylin plays a role in slowing down the passage of food to the small intestine, where most nutrients are absorbed. Typically, the post-meal blood glucose rise is transient and often goes unnoticed. However, for individuals with diabetes, these routine post-meal reactions encounter obstacles. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas produces insulin, but the cells fail to respond adequately, a condition known as insulin resistance. As a consequence, since glucose can't efficiently enter cells, blood sugar levels spike rapidly. Diabetics, both type 1 and type 2, using insulin therapy often experience a notable delay in blood sugar reduction, as it can take up to 15 minutes for insulin to take effect. Additionally, diabetics either produce insufficient amylin or none at all, leading to faster digestion. The combination of delayed insulin release and accelerated digestion results in a significant post-meal rise in blood sugar for individuals with diabetes. Once insulin finally kicks in, a rapid drop in blood sugar can ensue. Can't you sleep at night because of your pillow? Here is a adjustable sandwich pillow to support your neck, back, and spine. Enjoy a perfect sleep. You can have it too. Looking for more amazing videos? Check out the videos popping up on the right and the left of your screen. Hope you have a wonderful day.